everybody's doing good I wanted to give you guys another update as to what we're doing here in the house some of you may already be watching our live videos that John does so some of you already kind of know what's going on but this is a recorded video in better detail as to what's going on um, but before I show you the the update which is basically the living room window is up and now they are filling the living room floor with dirt and gravel uh, so that um, they could get it ready for to be cemented but you know cemented or put cement on whatever <laughs> and then put the floors in but um before i show you that i kind of wanted to just say something real quick um somebody had commented saying something like they had brought their girlfriend out here to jamaica and i guess the girlfriend must have looked down upon the people and i guess he was comparing well not comparing but just looking at the differences between his girlfriend and me and how how I take on everything with um, the circumstances you know what I mean being American you know not every American especially a female will handle the situation in a good way and the reason why I say that is because you know when I first came here years ago it was about like 12 years ago that I came here you know, my husband, when I met him, he always told me about Jamaica. I was drawn to him about talking about Jamaica because his dream was to make touch houses back then. And, you know, he, he, he told me how beautiful Jamaica is and so forth and his family land and everything. And then when I got here, the imagery that he portrayed at that moment wasn't exactly how I pictured it because in his eyes everything was perfect you know everything was beautiful and 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 he actually you know enjoys the island so when i came here i'm not gonna sit here and lie i was not super excited um it was a little bit hard for me to transition because of the fact that you know i've lived all my life in america and you know in america as you all know we pretty much have everything that we need you know if we want to wash clothes we just go to the laundromat and wash clothes if we um, want to take a hot shower it's readily available if you want just to have running water and you put on your pipe it's readily available and if you just want to go to walmart or go to any nearby shop it's right there well when we when i came here it wasn't like that and I was a little frustrated in the beginning, but I never looked down upon the people. That's for sure. I didn't look down upon the people. But as time went on, um, I feel as though that, that God put me in this situation to appreciate life, to appreciate what I do have. Because the things that we have in America or in any first world country, you don't realize what you have. You don't know the luxuries that you have. So being here, as time went on, it was a little hard. I had to learn how to wash clothes by hand. Um, I had to deal with cold water showers. I had to deal with taking buckets of water and, and putting it in the toilet to flush it or to you know shower outside, you know, things like that. I mean, I went when I was a little kid to Dominican Republic with my dad, but I vaguely remember it. So it wasn't something that, that was like stuck in my head. But anyways, long story short is that over the years, even that that first trip, I had only stayed here for maybe, I think, three to six months. I'm not too sure. But I guarantee you, by within a month's time, I was in love with Jamaica. I was in love with the Jamaican people and how they are because they could be the most loving people. And I love the fact that they love God out here. And you see God in everything. Um, so I really, really wanted to share that because what you see me now like you know we lived in a beautiful apartment there in florida if you look at our old videos we we was living really nice i had a swimming pool where we was living at we had a, a nice park a dog park um we had a bmw all the nice things that america has to offer but we were willing to sacrifice to come here um to finish building our house and yes you know deal with certain situation not every person is built for this some people will cry you know but God is good and I'm so glad that he's had allowed me to have this experience because 
you know, it's it's helped me to grow as a person, you know, helped me to appreciate everything and seeing the simplicity of life is really important. So anyways, now I'm going to go ahead and show you guys the progress of our house, okay? All right, let's go take you. So as I was saying, um, yesterday you guys were seeing the, the windows being put in, so now it's officially in. I'm so excited. It feels like a house now. So I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna go behind the camera now. So it's right here. So this is the nice big window that we have. Now let me see if I can show it from a distance on how it looks. Because before Okay, so now you see guys from there. That's our front bedroom, and this is our front um, living room area here. And now, you see the smoke, sorry, it's just because they're um, burning garbage out here. All right, so I'm not gonna go in too much just because it's a little dark, but they're leveling off the ground now. They're digging out the dirt and putting it leveled so that they could get it ready for cement. <clears throat> now I'm gonna take you over here to the guys. What's up, babe? <coughs> what you doing? Oh, that smoke is bad. Sorry for that. <coughs> yeah, I wasn't expecting that right now. <laughs> but I'm, gl <coughs> I'm glad you're doing it because that garbage needs to be thrown out. <coughs> so do you expect to have the floor done probably by today? What are, you, what are your plans? We're going to stay up all night, keep on working from morning till night. So we're going to work all night, 3, 4 o'clock in the morning, still keep working. Okay. You know? What, to get it all cemented and then... Yeah, we're going to start cementing before we can... Uh, then put the then, tiles. No, we're not going to put the tiles. We're gonna oh, you're not going to put next. the tiles? Oh, we don't you're going to flash up. up. Yeah, we're going to flash next. Yes. And start rendering off the wall and make oh, it... Oh, okay, bye. Sorry, bye. make it look like something. Gotcha, instead of seeing all the brick exposed... So basically how our room kind of looks like now. Yeah, sorry. I got to keep going. It's okay. It's okay. I'm going to just come follow you. I'm just excited because, you know, I'm going to turn the camera back, out, back around. You know, all I see is that there's progress being done in the house. It's, it's taking a little bit longer than what we had envisioned it, but at the same time, is actually going pretty quickly at the same time you know um just coming together i'm just so glad that my husband did what he did he, he bought all the material when he first got here and a lot of people said no don't do that but i'm glad he did because now it's just basically just getting guys to work and putting it together you know so that's that's what we're doing and we're just making the best of it and having fun we actually enjoy it. It's, it's a little cozy. It's a little crazy. You know what I mean? Like I said a few minutes ago, not everybody is built for this. Not everybody will do this in America. You know, what we do is if you buy a house, it's already made. <laughs> it's already pre-done and you move into it. Um, or even if you're going to renovate, usually from my understanding, I've never seen anybody do like what we're doing now, um, is that you live outside the house while it's, you know, being renovated and so forth. Um, let me get out of here. But um, so our situation is different. You know, I know even some of my family probably thinks I'm crazy <laughs> because they don't understand like, why Jamaica? Why come out here? Like, like you know, you have everything over there in America, but um, I have my points. I have my reasons why America to me is not everything. You know what I mean? It is everything in the sense of materialistic things, but it's not everything. And I think you guys will soon find out anyways what I mean by that. But besides that, I mean, at least over here, we're in the countryside. We up in the mountains. We have a nice, beautiful sea view. It's quiet and we're just together. This, this allows us to be as a family and to get to know each other. We get on each other's nerves. I know that me and my husband's always bickering, but we've been like that for years. So it's, something, it's not new, it's just it's the same. That's how we are, but we're still together. We love each other, so that's all that matters. So anyhow, um, I think I'm gonna close off this video and I will give you guys the update again on my husband. I'm sure he's gonna do another video. Um, thank you so much for everybody that's been subscribing to our channel and joining us in our journey. Um, it's, it's not an easy journey, but it's definitely a good one and I give thanks to God and everybody that has helped us. 
Thank you. Like and subscribe. Bye. Well, never mind. Not bye. <laughs> I'm over here, guys. I'm going to show you the concrete. This is what we do all day. Come. Okay, not too long because it's already nine minutes. Is it? Yeah. All right. Who are you? Take a walk down the long road. Okay. When you guys are watching and you don't see, we working. For real. You got this guy over here filling, and I'm the truck. Come take a, take a look. Okay. Oh, I want to know that way, way, way you took me, yo. Yeah, I heard the process that. What is this that we're doing here? We're going to do 20 of these. Getting ready for what? To, to make cement? And 15 gravel, yep. We're going to keep it going. We're going to mix up 20 of this and stuff it in that house. Okay. So that's the second part. Nice. Anyways, make sure you like and subscribe. Like and subscribe. And Boy, share. Boy, 10. On video, we got a boost. You got to faith it till you make it. I said 20 is 20. What do you say? <laughs> 20. Oh yeah, one last thing. Right now we're at like a little over 1,500 subscribers. If you guys can help us reach 2,000 subscribers, that'll be nice. So help us by liking and subscribing. And Thank hit you. The, hit, the, hit the little bell for the notification. Hel hit the little bell for notification. <laughs> All right, I'll see you guys. Bye.